So the concept behind Breathe is pretty straightforward. Somebody uh, very busy in their work and they take a break to go out and take in the world and take in what God has created for them. And the concept was sort of uh, developed over the past year, really. And it wasn't until a few months ago that it was brought to the table, it was pitched. And uh, I mean, we couldn't have been more blessed to have Jamie, who attends our church and just so happens is a professional dancer and a teacher of dance. And she was on board from the beginning and she was a joy to work with. So this project was incredibly special for me. I have been dancing for so long. I've been a dancer since I was two years old um, and it's been such a strong passion of mine that um, I've really truly made my life around it. Um, I have performed professionally all over the world which has been such a blessing um, but never have I had the opportunity to, to dance um, with the purpose of doing so through God's message. Um, I always know that God gave me this gift and so to have been given this opportunity to perform and to work on this project to to speak through God's word through movement was so special um, and it, it wasn't taken for granted for me. But what was really neat is that a couple of weeks maybe a week before uh, Nick came to us with this idea I had been in the lobby on a Sunday morning and we were kind of down some greeters and Jamie was there and Jamie's always very bubbly, uh, very energetic, dancing to the worship music and so uh, I came to help out and um, as less people were coming in we started having this conversation. He and I were just talking about our backgrounds, he was asking me kind of what I do and I was explaining that I am a dance teacher at a local performing arts high school um, and I started telling him about my professional performing career and what brought me back to this area and this church. And so I just thought this is really neat. Uh, I didn't know this about Jamie. Uh, I kind of tucked that away and, and then uh, a week later Nick is telling us about this project that he's really passionate about. Not even a week later did I get an email from him and said we've got this project, are you interested? Um, of course I was. I, I was so excited. I introduced him and um, it was just a match uh, made in heaven, you could tell. From, from concept to first meeting, uh, pitching the idea to her, and pre-production to actual production, it was a very smooth process and uh, hopefully that translates in the film. One of my favorite parts about the whole project was the fact that we all got to come together and work as a team. Um, all of us, Jamie included, uh, had important parts to play, uh, and we did it collaboratively, and we did it with excellence, which is really something we strive to do as a team anyways, but it's, it's really fun to do it on a project like a short film that's super creative. Okay, my responsibility was to make sure that Jamie knew what to do as far as costume goes. Uh, we had a previous conversation about what she had in mind. Um, we wanted to make sure she was wearing something comfortable. A lot of what happens behind the scenes is is part of the story of the final film. Um, I know all of us who watched the process from beginning to end, who watched the entire thing grow and develop and turn into its final product, the film. A lot of us, we um, Breathe has a special place in our heart. Hi, my name is Lindsay Will, and I did the sound design for Breathe. When I was doing the sound design, I really tried to focus on creating an atmosphere where she felt like where you would kind of get a sense of almost anxiety from like the traffic and the 
like people talking in the room and just kind of like bring that up and then we had the earthquake sound that kind of made it even more intense of uh, just kind of like an anxious feeling um, that hopefully the viewer just kind of felt like oh man the city and work and everything just kind of causes that kind of tension. It's a moving picture. <laughs> moving? My role on the project was to capture the behind the scenes footage, which was a lot of fun. It was something different for me. I'm a graphic designer, and, and so being behind the camera is a different element for me, but it was a lot of fun to just really, to look at the project through a different lens. I was really the only person looking at it in a way of capturing these tiny moments that make up this beautiful short film that you get to see. I'm melting! <laughs> As we're moving through, it was kind of hard for me to like plan how many steps it would take right, down yeah. this way or down that way, but I have little markers in the music and things that I chose to kind of start off. This is a 1990s iPod, so I've actually just been listening to music the whole time. That's the person, Should have done it earlier that's, that's in the, the person day. who has the magic of this video. keep the look and feel of the film to be as if you were following Jamie um, from her desk, from that space outside, and you didn't know what she was going to do. So that was the idea of, of how I tracked her and how some of the shots, it appears that maybe you're watching, you didn't know which way she was going to go. I didn't. I had no idea, you know, if she was going to go left, right, run away, run towards me. And that really, uh, for me, and I hope for you, really created the atmosphere uh, in the film. What I did was kind of a mishmash of different things. So uh, did helped with the location scouting, took a lot of photos that we then sent to Jamie so that she could plan what she wanted to do better. Um, took photos of the actual shoot as well, kind of being the set photographer. Uh, helps Nick out a little bit with some visual direction. This whole team just works so incredibly well and they work together with one vision through working through God's eyes and I think you can see that in the final product. A lot of what Jamie did is um, she really put a lot of emotion into her dance and made sure to um, have her facial expressions define what, what she felt at that moment while she was dancing and performing. Just seeing how Nick had a script and pulling the right people together to create the short film, it just went together really well. It was exciting to find different venues and spots that were the right um, feeling. A big shout out to Nick uh, for his vision, uh, to Jamie for her skills, and to the team for just coming around them and um, making this possible so uh, you could enjoy it and you could be blessed. Everything just worked out really well. Everybody was so connected to the project and really invested. And that was really what I wanted to do from the beginning. I had a vision. It couldn't have happened without everybody involved and everybody was involved um, to the fullest extent, and um, everybody brought something different to the table, brought a different vision, a different strategy. To work with, with this team of creatives and artists and to feel their support and to welcome me into their team that they work very closely with every day, um, I just felt completely embraced and I felt welcome, and which is exactly what Fairfax has done for me and for my husband and for my family. We've really felt like we've always been welcomed and with open arms. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap.